Hello. Hello guys. <laughs> I don't know. Make sure to subscribe. No. The You're, last supposed to say You're supposed to say hi. You're supposed to say that hi. You're supposed to say hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Today we're play we're playing. Guess what are you playing? Fence. Guess the fence. Yeah, on iPad. Do you want to watch? Exactly, I'm going to put the Doom Breaker on. I got a thousand <laughs> points. I got you. Hey guys, so today is super hot. I was outside, I walked the dogs, watered the plants, and I tried to do it all pretty early before like the heat hit, but it was already almost 90 degrees when I was outside, oh, yeah. so it's super hot. We actually have the AC on for the first time. Normally, just like open all the windows and doors, and like the house is really nice and breezy. But today, it is just so super hot. And last night was also super hot. Like you can feel the heat just coming in. But are you guys gonna go swimming? Yes or no? Maybe. No. All right. So right now, I'm gonna make some potatoes, bacon, and I'm gonna make some eggs too. So I'm gonna make the grandma special, but like. Mine, like my version of it, which is almost the same except mine. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut up some potatoes into little cubes, um, and fry like fry them up in some oil and salt and pepper. And then after that, well actually I'm gonna do the bacon first, and then use that oil to fry up this. And then after that we're gonna do the eggs and then mix them all together and it's gonna be delicious with some rice. And then maybe some of this. Mickey Mouse sourdough bread. My sister and the baby went to Disneyland yesterday and they got this bread, so the kids really want to eat it. There's Zach. Mine! Put it in the middle so you guys can stare at it. Mine! Mine! Alright, I have the bacon in there first. You guys, my sous chef is here. Just kidding. What? The top chef is here. And now I she's making the potatoes. Yay! I am chef. You are. Is that eggs? You're the next food you network. The You're the next chef. food network star, mom. <laughs> All right, the kids are eating. They have their star plates, very Star Wars themed. Yum. All right, you guys. So I'm in the car with John. And how? Where's the temperature thing in your car? Oh my gosh! Do you see that? It is 115 degrees! It's so hot. <sighs> Needless to say, we're melting. Oh, there's the male lady. Oh. Well, I don't have anything to give her, so. <laughs> I like to take advantage when she's here, so you just give her the mail. Um, but yeah, it's very hot. We're in the car. We're heading out. Ooh, do you want to get an iced coffee thing later? Yeah. That sounds really good. You know, I found out that it has like skim milk and stuff inside it. I didn't think it had that. <coughs> okay. It's hot. John, your AC is like. Oh, I'm, just gonna ah, I'm burning myself. Alright, you guys, we just got to the Veterans Thrift, and guess what? I have a special guest. He's so excited to be here. He just didn't want to wait in the car because it's really, really hot. And it just touched John's really sweaty back and he's touching mine. It's 115 degrees right now, you guys. It's so hot. Anyway, we're gonna run inside and hopefully we can find some treasures. But it looks like this place is full today because the parking lot's pretty full. And I feel like everyone's here to avoid the heat. All right, first find is this Mark by Mark Jacobs pouch. It's in this beautiful green and it's $10. There's a fake WK. <laughs> Michael Kors style bag. This is so cute. I always love a good snow leopard. Very dolce. Oh, this is that VSD. I saw that yesterday. Kenneth Cole. This is that fabric coach that's pretty damaged. Tommy Hilfiger. Gigi Hill. Steve Madden. Oh, we got a coach right here. How much are you? Five dollars? Why? Oh, yeah, the fabric is super damaged. Roxy. Gusta C. This 
some Betsy Johnsons. This looks like a B. Mikowski. How much are you, B. Mikowski? You are five dollars. Um, pretty worn, but nothing that can't be fixed with a little conditioner. Never mind, no matter conditioner is gonna fix that interior. The piping is coming through, it's like crazy. Look at this Birkin style bag. Five bucks. There's this large B. Mikowski, this one's $15. This might be a yes. Get out another B. Mikowski, this one's only gonna be $4. Little discoloration, hopefully conditioner can clean that right up and it'll look fantastic again. Right. I found this large coach fabric tote. Corners aren't too bad, there's a little bit of crackling. You can see right there on the edge coating of the, or the leather handles, not even edge coating, handles in general. Five dollars. You know, this still has a lot of life left. The crackling on the handles really can't be, like that's just gonna happen eventually over time. The rest of the bag is actually in pretty good condition. This isn't even noticeable, like unless like you really stare at it. Like from far away, it's like, this might be a yes. I think I might get this. And then we'll just put it up in the shop for pretty cheap. What do you guys think about that? Oh, this fossil, $10. This one's a cute one. I've never seen one this style before. It's patent. I think I might wait on it though. Even though it's pretty cute. What's this? Chaps. Adrian Vitadino. Is this an MZ Wallace? Shut the front door, it is an MZ Wallace. It still has plastic on it. $25. It's I, is there a crossbody strap in there? Alright, so I'm completely dead. They like, are killing it with bags. I found this Kate Spade right here, tote bag. This one's $60 though, this one is a little expensive. So, we'll wait on this one. I think blue is going to be the color on Tuesday. So we'll see if this is still here. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many things to look at, you guys. I'm so sorry, I'm like a hot mess just looking at everything really quickly. Is this the hobo? It is, it's only $2. Stop, why are you only $2? You're fabulous. Oh, uh, wait, no, it's not broken. $2 hobo bag, yes. Okay, literally, I have like all these bags on my shoulder right now. I'm like covered in handbags. This is the Elliot, I remember the Elliot Luca. It's been here for a hot minute. Liz and Co. Tyler Roden. What is this? It kind of looks like a Celine. You guys. Came at the right time. John's a good luck charm. I wish he would come more often with me, but <laughs> he just got forced in coming inside with me because it was really hot inside the car. So he's like, I guess I'm gonna come down with you, but I'm not gonna like it. And I was like, come on, John. Oh, look at this Michael Kors. This one's $14.96. Very like a Western, a lot of discoloration. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that one too. Maybe that one will go on sale. Ooh, what's this? Do you think this is a Brighton? It is not a Brighton. Oh, this is like a vintage Dooney. It's like peeling. Yeah, I know. I wonder if the other Dooney is still here. I haven't seen it. The one with the broken zipper. Alright you guys, just found this All Saints pouch, which is super sick, super cool. And then a Vera Bradley wallet, cell phone holder, and then another Vera Bradley pouch. So much stuff so far. Alright you guys, got a ton of stuff. Now John and I are going to get iced coffees from McDonald's. Are you excited John? John's meditating to get through the heat. 
It looks like there's a fire right over there. Uh oh. Guys, there's a hummingbird right there. Really? It must be really hot. It's like, I'm just gonna relax. <laughs> anyway, look at this. Mom made some loaded nachos and some salsa. Cannot wait to have some. Hey guys, okay, so I am about to end the video, but I wanted to do kind of like a what's in my bag slash um, clean out slash moving to a new bag <laughs> a little um, moment in the video. So this is the bag that I've been currently rocking and it is the Jimmy True, I believe, Jimmy True, Jimmy True, Jimmy Tr I can't even pronounce it anymore. Jimmy True Rosalie Satchel, I believe is the name, the Rosalie. Such a gorgeous bag. I'm pretty much obsessed with it. I love it so much, but I've been using it this whole week. Um, and tomorrow, I'm going to spend the whole day thrifting. But I normally leave, like, a bag inside the car um, with, like, bigger, heavier things I don't necessarily want to carry with me into the store I need all the time. Like, I don't really need, like, um, like, a sp like spare batteries with me. I don't really need... Um, like a big thing of like wipes with me. I don't normally need like, I don't know, all the other junk that I bring with me. <laughs> but you'll see what's inside here. Um, but I think I'm going to switch out to another bag, maybe one that's a little bit smaller and one that's easier to carry with me throughout the store and I'll be able to bring it in with me because I don't want to leave. It's going to be, uh, like about 110 degrees tomorrow and I do not want to sub, like, like, make my bags like sit in the heat like at that temperature because that is really really hot um and heat is really bad for your bags so if you're gonna like yeah so during this time especially if you're living in an area like i am where it's really hot today was 117 degrees where i lived and just a few towns over it was 121 where my dad was and he was like oh my gosh it's 121 degrees it's so hot and i was like oh so don't forget that during this time of year especially during the summertime when it gets super hot and your bag is outside it's in the direct sunlight it's in the hot car don't forget to condition it i feel like like this is like a little p like psa uh, public service announcement for handbags please condition your bags during the summertime because they're going to dry out you don't want um the sun and heat to damage them so don't forget to condition them and make sure that they are nice and um conditioned yeah <laughs> so anyway i'm trying to decide what bag i want to use so let me decide right now and then i will be right back and then we'll do um this quick what's in my bag slash clean out slash transitioning to another bag video all right, so I am back, and I was, like, deciding between these two bags. It's, like, a toss-up right now. So I have, right here, I have my Proenza Schooler. I believe this is called the Tiny Size in the, like, metallic copper. And then I have my bright blue Celine Trio. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to do the Proenza just because I don't think I'm going to be able to fit everything inside the trio so we'll see like i'm definitely just gonna try and bring the essentials so let me show you what's in this hot mess of a bag that we have right here because i always end up like honestly just end up like throwing everything inside my bags <laughs> i am like a mess okay so this is what's currently in here at the moment and it is shameful so you guys have probably okay first of all i have like a million receipts in there um, you've seen these pouches before. I have, like, contact solution. I have, like, um, Dayquil. And then I have, like, not contact solution. I don't even wear contacts. Eye drops. I don't know why I call them contact solution. I have, like, a bunch of different eye drops and stuff in this, um, uh, Comme des Garçons pouch. Which I guess I don't really need. It's, not, like, not, like, essential. So I guess I won't put that in there. And then I have... Um, even more eye drops in here. More eye drops. I have extra chapstick. I have batteries. And then, um, uh, GlossierBomb.com, um, lip balm, which I feel like is always really good. Then I have, like, 50 pairs of sunglasses. Honestly, I have too many. I have these right here. 
This actually, believe it or not, holds another pair of sunglasses. And then another pair of sunglasses I have here in this. <laughs> I have so many. Okay, I have, like literally have three pairs of sunglasses. I have um, this Mew Mew wallet that I got from Crossroads um, last week. And I had it in here because I wanted to switch out my other wallet um, into this one and like use that and I can't even find my other wallet right now. So I have that. I have my little monster backpack and he just has, actually he actually has, I got this from John's car. He had like a thing of, he had like a bunch of dental flosses from when he goes to the dentist. And for some reason the dentist never gives me any dental floss or maybe I just never take any because I don't know. But, um, and I have like extra batteries and stuff in here for my camera. So I have that guy. Oh, these, um, I talked about these wipes in today's haul video, which is from this morning's thrifting video. So if you check out that thrift or that haul video and I talk about these wipes, these are the wipes. They're like the spa subscription wipes. And these are from Ross. I love all of them. Um, this one's the anti-aging one. There's also um, a skin brightening one. And then there's a, I think like a soothing one. Or pore refining or something. Um, like, uh, they, there's like the pink one is the anti-aging. The brightening is an orange. Is like orange and it says brightening. And then the other one is pore refining and it's in blue, I believe. Um, these are just $3.99 at Ross. And they are literally so amazing. Like, I don't wear makeup or anything, but, um, my face, I don't know, like, whatever I do, my face always gets really oily. And, like, this is perfect, especially, like, when you're thrifting and stuff. I don't know, like, when I'm thrifting, my oil glands go in hyperdrive. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, yeah, I could, it's all, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, tr shopping triggers it or something. But these are just really, really, really good. Um, I even got my mom into using them and she's like obsessed with them too. And I always have like three bags on hand. Uh, Cause I am like, Ross, I always find them at Ross. Actually it's the only place that I find these. But sometimes like Ross doesn't have any. So these are so important. They're like essential. Um, I also have, oh, okay so. I had like a freak accident with my phone and it has one of these glass screen protectors on and luckily this comes in a pack of three and I gave one, to, I put one on mom's phone and I have one and I had an extra one. I had my phone on my table and then this, my tripod, I had it like standing up or like leaning against something, I don't know what happened, it just like fell over, there was nothing on the tripod but it fell over in such a way that it shattered my screen protector on my phone but luckily the screen protector was on there because my phone screen didn't shatter but it like saved my life so amazing I literally I still have one more I have this in here because I keep one I I keep forgetting to put it on my phone <laughs> and I don't want to do it at night because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to see all the dust and stuff so I'm gonna wait till the daytime but I'm probably not gonna be able to do it tomorrow perhaps do it on Sunday but um that's why I have this in here so I can remember and I'm still not remembering um, I have my little Alexander McQueen, um, zip pouch, and this just is honestly, like, I look crazy, but it's honestly, it's, like, full of allergy medicine and Tylenol. Like, I don't take Tylenol, but, like, whenever I'm with anyone, like, my mom, like, if anyone needs Tylenol, I have it on hand, um... And then I have my allergy medicine, which I always forget to take allergy medicine. And, to, and then, like, when I'm at the thrift store, like, I totally regret it. So that's why I started carrying, like, a bunch of allergy medicine with me. Um, so that I always have it on hand when I'm thrifting because, like, it gets dusty. Plus, anywhere, like, I'm just, like, very, very allergy-ridden. So I just need allergy medicine, like, all the time or else, like, my eyes are, like, uh, and then I can't breathe and it's just, like, a mess. So... I always have my little pouch full of allergy medicine and, strangely enough, Tylenol. And isn't it weird that, um, well, I guess it's not really weird, but, um, have you ever noticed that, um, you either, Tylenol works for you or, um, uh, is it aspirin? Aspirin works for you? Like, it's either one or the other. It's like, um, and I, it's like, some people, like, aspirin doesn't work for them and then some people, Tylenol doesn't work for them and then, like, 
sometimes like usually it works for both people but like some people like aspirin doesn't work and then some people Tylenol doesn't work like is that weird um I don't remember why it is I remember I learned about it I, in chemistry class uh <laughs> um in college we literally made our own aspirin, but like you obviously you couldn't take it or else it'll give you uh, like stomach problems. And we used oil of wintergreen, which is an extract from um, like a plant, which I think is like an evergreen plant. I don't know. But we would distill it and then like we'd make aspirin and then like it'll make like we'll, um, we'll extract that like the chemicals to make aspirin from the oil of wintergreen. And then it makes like a little like plump of powder it's really cool <laughs> I don't know if anyone like if anyone took science class I don't think we did anything like that well we did do something kind of like that in like chemistry um in high school but we never like we okay comment down below if anyone like in high school I was in um honors chemistry we didn't have AP chemistry in my high school but we had honors chemistry and I don't think the other like the regular chemistry classes did it I don't think so but um I remember we also had to do this in college chemistry and it was like pretty cool um but you're given a solution of like or it's like a mixture of yeah solutions like a mixture of like different things and then you had to extract all the different things from that solution and you had to identify what each one was and I always thought that was so much fun um that was like my favorite lab and it was like a really long one because we had to like we learned like all sorts of stuff like throughout the year right we, we learned like distillery like how to distill things we had learned how to like evaporate things and then like it's, it's just like a bunch of different things and then at the end of the like at the end of the year I remember we had like that one thing we had I think we had like a week to do it because some um some things took like a really long time to do like it, it had like a different like couple step process um so anyway let comment down below if anyone had to do that or if anyone remembers doing that or knows that I love someone that did that I don't know I just thought that was fun <laughs> anyway I don't even know why I went there oh because I went with the Tylenol and stuff yeah so yeah cool okay I'm gonna stop talking about that now because and then like more receipts literally a million receipts uh, oh okay i found my wallet right here uh so i think i'm gonna switch into the Mew, Mew wallet like it's pink i wouldn't normally use pink but then it goes with the flamingos and i do love flamingos so i think that's really cool and like it's like very like cool i don't know so i think i'm gonna and you know someone messaged me about this wallet and they've been looking for it forever but i'm like I'm so sorry that I really like the wallet. So I think, at least for right now, I'm going to keep it. But I'll remember that if I do end up um, deciding that uh, it's time to part with it, I will let you know. Or, like, I'll put it up in Instagram because I honestly don't even remember who it was. But I remember that someone did ask me and say, and told me that they've been looking for this wallet. But it's so cool. So I'm definitely going to use that. Um, I have, okay, this is Essential, which is my iPhone charging case which is so good I don't know how I lived without this for so long but thank goodness that it was at the thrift store for me to purchase because I don't know how I live without this thing because this thing is such a lifesaver and not just for me but for like other people whenever other people like it's really funny like my neighbor like she'll be at the house she's like oh my god my phone is dying I'm like hold on let me just get my case and you can like you don't even have to plug it in you can just keep using your phone and it's like like perfect for everyone it's awesome uh they should just come with your phone like seriously um then i have my keys on here oh this is also essential my eos lip balm and i know i have other lip balms but eos is like well, I, I do love the glossier one or glossier glossier however you pronounce it but eos has become my favorite it used to be um, the regular chapstick brand one and my favorites were cherry and um, Cherry I think it was just cherry oh cherry and strawberry the two red ones I have recently found out that I'm I, I'm like slightly allergic to anything um, with vanilla So like that's like I always had like a weird reaction. I never really noticed. Like I just thought my lips were just getting more dry, and I would just keep putting more and more chapstick. 
and I recently stopped using anything with vanilla in it, like, and then anything with, um, like, menthol, like, um, like, had menthol in it, or, like, had, like, that, like, mentholated scent. So even, like, um, like, the mentholated, like, lip balms and stuff, stopped using it, and my lips have been feeling so much better. So now I can go, like, like, before, like, I would use them, and I would, like, I would kind of, like, like it, you know? But then my lips would just get more and more dry, and I was like, ugh. So I just, like, cut it out completely, and I've just been using just, like, the regular ones that don't have those other ingredients, and it's been totally fine. So I don't know what it is. Well, probably, I'm probably slightly allergic to, um, like, the vanilla and to, like, the menthol lated whatever it is um then in here oh this is like my favorite thing this is my kate spade banana like little case and in here this is where i keep the um the key for the tesla so this is like my favorite it's so much easier to find the key because this is like a bright yellow banana and elizo loves it like he's just like so in love with this thing he thinks it's so cool and i do too and then uh, last but not least um, this is the, um, the, is it the four king? The four king. Four key? No. One, two, three. The six key, um, key, key holder. But this is, I, I just thrifted this, and it's, like, probably not, like, authentic or anything, but it's pretty awesome, and I really like it because it, you keep your keys in here. It doesn't scratch up anything else. Though I do, like, have these keys, but then I feel like they're not as scratchy because, like, the key just goes inside. Anyway. There's that, and that is pretty much everything inside my bag, so I'm going to leave that right here. Now, I'm just going to not put back any of these receipts, I'm just going to put them away, and then I think, okay, so we're going to move into this bag right here. I love this bag so much, and I haven't really used it. I used it like right when I first got it, and then I haven't used it really since. But I think, like, right now is the perfect time. It's, um, summer, and it's, like, very fun, and I think, like, the color of this bag is spectacular, which is one of the reasons why I got it. I've been really wanting, um, a metallic bag, like, metallic leather bag for quite some time, and this one is just a stunner. Like, it's so pretty. So... For tomorrow, I probably won't need the banana because I'm not going to be driving the Tesla at all. But have my keys right there, and then I'm not going to switch out. Like I'm just going to use I'm I'm going to use the Mew Mew, but I'm not going to switch out my cards right now. I'll just stick that in there, and then definitely, definitely will need this case. Oh, this is perfect too for anyone that like, that has been asking um, about what will fit inside the this bag like this is perfect because I know there's um there's so many sizes of the of the PS1 this is the tiny there's um the tiny there's the mini and then there's the pouch so I think the smallest one is the mini then the tiny then the pouch is the next size up and then it's the small medium large PS1 so we're gonna put those in there Definitely, definitely need my allergy medicine. Definitely need my EOS. And I guess I'm only going to bring one pair of sunglasses. And I'll bring the case that's like the thinnest. So that will it'll definitely fit in here. Man, this EOS lip balm really messes it up, huh? It's like so round. <laughs> okay. And then, what else? Oh, I definitely do need this chapstick. Now this, I think I'll put this in the front. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm so glad that, like, I'm on, like, I'm glad that there's, like, I'm almost out of this pack of the face wipe because now it'll totally fit inside of there and then I think that's pretty much all that I really need with me tomorrow so then I can just close this up 
like that. And then my batteries and oh my AirPods also are usually in here but they're charging right now. So then I can just attach this guy onto the side right here. And then we are good to go. I fit all my essentials that I really, 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 really need with me inside my little PS1 Tiny and now we'll be on our way. Uh, I'm gonna feel so naked without the other stuff though, but honestly, I don't want to leave anything in the car at that crazy temperature. And you know that when inside your car it's even hotter than it is because all that heat just like collects and then it just like radiates and bounces off of like the interior and um, some of the interior is black, so it's just like, it's just like a mess, so look at that, it's, I'm so excited, it's so cute, look how shiny that is, too, woo, hot dog, okay, so that's gonna round out today's video, hope you guys had fun, if you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up, let me know down below in the comments, um, oh, hold on, we need our, I almost, almost, almost forgot, um, that we were going to do our find of the day. And today's winner is, da, 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 da. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I should honestly like look for these right before, but um, I remember that I saw a couple already, but um, oh goodness gracious. Oh, okay, also I just wanted to do a quick shout out to, I don't know how to pronounce your name exactly, Gen or Jen, maybe Jen. Um, I met you yesterday at the Goodwill and it was so nice to meet you. And I'm so sorry I did, like, didn't get to ask your name. I was just like, okay, I don't know what it is, but every time I meet one of you guys, I'm so like dumbfounded. Like, it's really funny because no, it should be the, like, <laughs> it's not, it shouldn't, it's not that it should be, but, um, like, when people meet me, they're like, oh my gosh, like, it's so crazy. But, like, honestly, it's crazy for me. I'm, like, just so in shock that anyone knows who I am or watches the videos. And whenever I meet any of you guys, like, in real life, it's just, like, oh my gosh, like, it's so amazing. So, Jen, Gen, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna call you Jen. Um, it was so nice to meet you. I wish I could have met your, um, your, I think you said you were with your sister? No. You were with your sister? I don't remember, but um, I didn't get to meet them. I just met you, but it was so nice to meet you. You are so sweet and so kind and so and so nice for you to say hi. So I hope we've run into each other again in the future. I know we don't really like live in the same area, but if you're ever in the area, hopefully I'll see you again at that thrift store because that was really, really nice. Um, so I, again, special shout out to Jen. Um... Oh, also, it was really funny because um, Lauren Bursan, you commented and said that this, or you said, does the music at the end remind anyone else of Austin Powers? And that is actually the reason, like, why I picked that music. I thought it was so fun. Austin Powers is such, like, a fun movie, and I just love, like, that, like, I don't know, those movies just make me laugh. It reminds me of, like, my childhood, and I just like that movie, like, that music. So it just makes me happy that, and it makes me happy that you guys think, or at least one of you guys think the same thing too about the Austin Powers, um, thing, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 uh, okay, also, can we also, like, take a moment to, um, to say that like, okay, if anyone watches Thrifters Anonymous, and for all that, all of you that don't, you guys have to check them out. You guys have to go over to their channel, tell them Hadrian sent you, and tell them how much I love them, and like, I know you guys are gonna love them too. They are so hilarious. I think they're based out in Las Vegas, but um, they're actually on this show called um, Storage Wars. And they actually have, like, a YouTube channel, and I, they, they, they were on the YouTube channel, like, first, and then they're still on it now, but then they were also on Storage Wars, which is so cool. They're so hilarious, and, like, recently they've been commenting on my videos, which is, like, now I'm, like, like fangirling over them, because, like, seriously, they are 
everything to me. They are so amazing. I think they are so cool. Um, but yeah, so hop over onto their channel, Thrifters Anonymous. Tell them Hadrian sent you and that he loves you and that please do a video with me whenever you guys are in Southern California because I really want to meet you guys and I really want to make a video. I think it would be so much fun. Except I'm like, honestly, like I'm, people always like uh, message me and ask me like why I don't do collabs with like other thrifters or, or like, I'm just really shy, honestly, in real life. Um, it's so different to just be sitting in front of the camera. And honestly, like, I feel like you guys, like, we're, like, best friends. So, like, it's totally cool. But then, like, other, like, I don't know. Like, I'm just, honestly, I'm just, a, I'm really actually a shy person. I know that it doesn't come off as, like, like that I am. And it also doesn't come off that I, like, I'm a, like, I feel like, um, it's funny because people think that I'm just, like, really, like, outgoing. Like, I'm really, honestly, I'm really shy. Um, I don't really like to go out too much. I'm a really a homebody unless I'm, like, out thrifting or something. Like, I don't like to be out at night. I like to stay <laughs> inside. Um, I'm, like, I only like to be out, like, during the day. And even then, like, I don't like to be out too much. I don't like to be in the sun too much because, like, I love the sun. And, like, when it's not sunny, it, like, makes me kind of sad. <laughs> but, um, I don't like to be in direct sunlight because I'm, like, a vampire. But then I don't like to be out at night, so I'm, like, not a vampire. So, like, I'm, like, a vampire and, like, not a vampire at the same time. And then, like, yeah, like... <laughs> and I have, like, friends, but, like, I honestly, like, I don't really hang out too much with my, like, friends, like, from high school, college, and all that. Because I'm just, like, can I just, like, stay at home? <laughs> so, I don't know what it is. I'm just, like, such a homebody. Is, is that weird? Anyway, um, oh, okay, so let's, um, give a shout out to Tosh G. Um, hi, Hadrian, your thrifting adventure, I love your thrifting adventure and treasures. Always good to see you happy with the boys. Happy thrifting. I scored some KD basketball shoes for $5. I don't know what KD stands for, but I, I don't know what a lot of things stand for. So that's, but basketball shoes for $5 is awesome because normally any type of basketball shoe at the thrift stores when I see them start at like $7.99 and up. So that's awesome. $5 for Coach sunglasses and case. Again. Oh no, that was for the shoes. Coach sunglasses and case for $0.25. Cents? How did you find that? That's amazing. $0.25? Cents? can't buy anything for 25 cents. When was the last time I bought anything for 25 cents? Like a bubble gum from like, like one of those like quarter bubble gum things and the bubble gum comes out and it like goes down the little spiral thing. That's the last thing I remember buying for 25 cents. That was with Eliza when we were at Sam's Club and I gave him two quarters. So I actually spent 50 cents. But he really wanted to see that bubble gum spiral down. <laughs> and a PS4. PS4? That's like new, right? I don't know like where we are at right now for PS, like PlayStations, but PS4, I feel like that's pretty new, right? PS4, Halo game, brand new for $5. Oh, all at garage sales. I really need to start going to garage sales, but honestly, I don't know where any garage sales are. And then like during the weekends, I'm like usually trying to go to the thrift store and I'm like, how am I supposed to like, someone take me garage, garage sailing. I also really want to go to an estate sale. I, like, one of my dreams in life is to go to an estate sale and find and purchase a giant Louis Vuitton trunk and use it as a coffee table. Like, that's one of my life missions is to own a Louis Vuitton trunk as a coffee table. I think that would be so amazing. Like, that's one of my lifelong dreams is to have a coffee table that's a Louis Vuitton trunk. Like, how awesome is that? They're so expensive. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like I look online at them like on eBay and like there's this website called First Dibs too. Oh, that's like a hot mess. My goodness. Okay, but Oh, okay, and I'm going to do a I'm going to do a second one. Um and this is Lupe Torres. Lupe, you are one of the like literally one of the kindest people ever. 
Lupe comments on like literally every single video and she just like always has something happy and positive to say and that's what I think we need in life. We need happy positive people. I feel like there's so much negativity out there and it doesn't take a lot to say something nice or to like spread positivity. Um, I feel like that's so much easier than spreading hate and negativity, right? Like, and Lupe, you honestly, every, like, every time I see your comments, and I know I don't always get a reply to you, but honestly, Lupe, you are amazing, and I love you so much. You, like, definitely brighten up my day every single day, and you always say how I make you happy, but honestly, you make me happy. So thank you, Lupe. But, okay, so Lupe. Hi, Hadrian. Love, love your videos. I found three TB, which I think stands for Tory Burch makeup bags for 99 cents each. I love it. Thank you for sharing. Kissy face, jazz hands face, and then three hearts. Lupe, that is amazing. Tory Burch makeup bags. Like, okay, Tory Burch makeup bags are just expensive in and of themselves at the store, like when you buy them brand new. And I feel like whenever any, like, I feel like recently, especially recently, Goodwills and thrift stores have become very savvy about Tory Burch handbags and have been marking them up exponentially and um Tory Burch also has a higher resale rate than like a lot of other um bags in that like price bracket so I don't know like I feel like I should do a video on this because I feel like um it's pretty interesting but um there are different like just like from my experience um selling handbags, like, secondhand, and, um, retail in, like, a retail environment, like, at the mall. Um, bags are tiered differently within the store and in the departments, and then there are certain handbags, um, like, that, that were, like, their price points are about the same, and, and, like, they're in, like, certain locations inside the store. Um, Coach... Michael Kors, um, Kate Spade, uh, like, B. Mikowski, um, what else? <laughs> My brain isn't working right now. I feel like those, like, those kinds of brands, uh, maybe even, like, Sam Edelman, Elliot Luca, um, Dooney and Burke, uh, my, I'm having, like, a brain fart. Um, those kind of bags are, like, all tiered together. And then just, like, a little bit, like, above that, but kind of, like, they're still in the same category are Tory Burch, Mark by Mark Jacobs, um, and, like, they keep these, like, in the same category, like, Red Valentino, even though that's, like, a much higher price point, but still within, um, I think my thing, it's just like, my thing stopped recording because I was talking too much. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about that. If you guys want, like, a video on that, or I think I might do, like, a live video on that, let me know. <laughs> I'm feeling really chatty today. I don't know what it is. I feel like I just love sitting here and talking to you guys, and I feel like that is so fun. So, I think I'm going to do a live video very soon, um, and we'll talk about like resale and stuff like this because I always wanted to do and people have been commenting and messaging me about doing videos like this but I never really know exactly what things to answer and what people want to know just because there's such a wide array and variety of things to talk about and I'm like someone who just wants to like talk about everything all at once and the video is going to turn into like a two hour video I feel like seriously you can teach a class on this kind of stuff so I feel like it'd be really cool to do like a live video where we can discuss and talk about these things as and then um that way like like the questions will pop up and I'll be able to answer them and then when people watch the videos they'll be able to see it and I, th I don't know I think that'll be pretty cool what do you guys think let me know down below in the comments um maybe I'll try it out what time is it right now is it I, it's way too late it's 10 30 um so I don't want to do that right now I don't want to like <laughs> yeah, 10 is like too late, 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, yeah, it'd be like 1 o'clock in like the East Coast, so that's like way late, you should do this like in the middle of the day. Anyway, let me know also what time during the day and what, um, like what day and what time during the day is best to go live for you guys to see the videos. I know I tried it out once, 
like a few weeks ago when I went live at the Goodwill outlet and that was kind of like a bust because they told me I couldn't film in there. So, um, I'm definitely gonna try it again. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. I'm so sorry for those of you guys that missed it. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm gonna end the video because I'm gonna keep talking forever and ever and ever and I have so much stuff to do. So, I love you guys so much. Um, don't forget to stay smiling, be happy, um, and I love you guys so much. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, a mark by mark. This one is 15. I'm liking this one. This is a cute one. I really like the fabric ones. Like these are really great travel bags and they're really lightweight. I think I might get that. Let's see what else we can find. I know I'm looking through a lot of bags. <laughs> what is this? Oh no, it's not a coach, is it?